Hey everyone, Django here. So today I've got a premium review for you on a Key 442 Otsu, a new Japanese premium brought out in patch 1.55. It's a tier 2 plane standing at 2.3 battle rating in both AB and RB. We'll also feature both modes in matches in this review. I'll see you in the match. Hey guys, so here we are in the match. Now we have been climbing in the Key 44 to Otsu, the new premium Japanese plane added in 1.55. And we've got the first opponents coming into view here. Now what I've noticed in this climb is that this thing has a very light frame and thus its, its lift compared to its weight is fantastic. And it really uh, wants to climb. Might be one of the best climbers at its battle rating. So we're looking at this buffalo here. Now let's see if we can get a good approach. We're going a little bit fast. It's also very fast in a dive this thing. It really wants to go. Attack hostile troops. Now here we have three targets below us. And we can probably maneuver with all of them. We're gonna see what we can do. These guns are hard to shoot with. You really need to get up close. You saw <laughs> there was no way near enough lead. The the shots actually just drop from the <laughs> from the guns, at least that's what it looks like sometimes. This is a 2B, a Mark 2B. So we're gonna see if we can get a good approach on him. There is a buffalo behind us, but we should get more speed in the dive than the buffalo. It's ranging a little bit here with the machine guns. And we're getting really close to him here. Oh, we missed that shot just barely. <laughs> oh. Definitely difficult to shoot these guns need to get really close I'm tr trying here but no that's that's too that's too close taking it up into the vertical and rolling over trying to get another approach on him to see if we can get these guns to work he's pulling up so that's really nice so we did uh, crit him there we crit the elevator and he is going down we did waste a lot of our shots though, we still ha only have two shots left, so the next thing we'll shoot at will have to be uh, on target. And yes, we got him! Nice! P-39 there, killed by the explosive power of these guns. Now, the guns are gone though now, so we only have our machine guns left. We're not leading enough here by the way. Do get a hit there on the bow fighter. We're on our top of our peak here. Thank god the Spitfire wasn't aiming for us. We're rolling over and trying to get behind him. Keeping an eye on the bow fighter, but he's going the other way. Let's see if we can get a shot here with the machine guns and let's see what these machine guns can do. Get a hit in. Now this plane cannot quite maneuver with the Spitfire but it can keep reasonable pace. Especially roll wise. Rolling in, in this plane is a, a joy. And we did get him there with the machine guns for our third kill we're gonna see if we can get another target both these targets are quite high I really want to get into range but they're moving the other way now as we are with uh, almost the whole team here approaching this uh, little furball Oh, fighters really focused on the key 44. Hello. 
Now the Corsair is still up high here. That uh, poses quite a, a problem. And there is also a P400 that is a problem. If they both are disciplined boom and zoomers, we wi we might have a problem here. Even with so many people in our team still alive. The Corsair goes up again, so at least he knows what he's doing. Oh, sorry, the P400. Let's see if the Corsair also knows what he's doing. He at least shoot the uh, key XC1 there on fire. And we are, tr we, yeah, we can just climb here. We also got to keep our speed up so that we have enough to maneuver with. They are both turning. The roll rate of this plane is very good as well. Especially now that we have no more 40 millimeters. There's a lot of weight gone from the plane. Now we are trying to climb here. See what we can do. P400 is going low and let's, we're going to see if we can uh, get a shot at him here. If he comes up this way. But now he's going straight up at the moment. And as you can see we are gaining and from that energy advantage he had that means that the key 44 has more climb rate than the P400. We're missing our shots there though. And he's going into a dive here. we're going to try to follow, see if we can follow that dive. He is extending, so... And he's still extending, that, and that means that we cannot get him, we just need to be patient here. See if we can close the distance somewhere in the near future. This guy has to come up sometimes, and he's already starting to climb again. Well, we are in a dive here, with several of my allies. We approach 700 speed here in a shallow dive. Full web. We decide to shoot up some pop shots here. Ranging shots. We don't have that much ammo that anymore, so we need to be careful with that. He decides to go up here. That's a mistake because that will give us a good, a good shot here. We decide to use all our ammo here, and yes, we shoot him on fire. 31 rounds left. Our ally there almost crashes into him in his attempt to get the kill, but we do get the kill, fortunately, and that's our fourth kill. Now there's one opponent left on this match, and. We will not get him, he will fly back to the base and then do some shenanigans over there. We, in the meantime, went for a landing, but uh, he was shot down in the meantime, so we did win the match. I'll see you at the scoreboard. So here we have it guys, four kills. Place in the team first. Let's see what the scoreboard tells us. 52,000... Oh no, 80,000 Silver Lions with Premium, 3,700 Research Points for the Kika. 4 kills. We've got uh, 4 kills here, top of the scoreboard, 1,400 points. And we have the best squad, Terror of the Sky, and Bulletproof. Hey guys, so here we are in the arcade match. Now let's see what this thing can do in arcade. It's going to be way more difficult to shoot the... Uh, to shoot the cannons here because there is so many people 
who uh, just fly normal planes and you can't just get at the bomber and say to the fighters hey leave me alone I want to shoot at bombers they're bigger targets it's more easy it doesn't that's not how it works let's see we've got a key 44 here approaching our ally there Yeah, and we're gonna turn over. See if we can follow this guy in the dive and in the climb. Making a little loop him here with him. But we are gaining. And we almost got him there, but not quite. There the, the shots land. <laughs> and we got the key 44. It's very satisfying to land these shots when you manage it. But uh, like I did there, I needed all my shots for that target. And we're going to see that a few times more here. Only we did see the maneuverability of this plane being good enough. Now here we go again for climbing. It really wants to climb. It, it just keeps going up, it's no problem. And the acceleration and the dive speed is also very nice, like I said, in RB but also in AB. The cannons work uh, the same though. So it's, it's still the same problem to land your shots. And I think that's gonna keep this plane from uh, causing too much problems in uh, overpoweredness, let's say that. Because it is powerful, but uh, the aiming is so difficult with this thing, so that I don't think many people will will become proficient with that on any short amount of time. Here we go for this American dive bomber. We shoot uh, a few shots at him, and uh, he evaporates. I think he broke into five pieces. So here we're climbing again. This plane is uh, well suited for boom and zooming. It can be a lot of fun in that respect when you can get targets lined up. When people are turning this plane is definitely more difficult to get on target. Like the cannon rounds are, uh, have such low velocity that they just seem to drop away. Uh, <laughs> they seem to drop from your from your cannons without any speed. T44 is, is aiming for me, but I managed to avoid him. And we see two bombers uh, coming up here, which is quite nice. So that's, uh, that's also an Otsu, guy behind me. He's got the same cannons as me, and you saw difficult to, to land them. So he, he didn't manage it there. Yeah, and there we go. That's one bomber down. I still have these guys on my back. And another uh, fighter was added to the mix. Trying to get some shots in on this T61. Yeah, we're turning. This thing turns quite nicely. And uh, one of my squadron mates told me that uh, he couldn't follow in the in the turn, so he probably wasn't using elevator. Oh, that was a close shot. I'm doing a barrel roll here, trying to move out of the way. One of these guys is above me, and there we have the other guy who was after me. Let's see if we can kill him. Eagle knife is also on him. Yeah, you, this this is too far away, 600 meters for these guns. Although that that shot was close. <laughs> oh, close again. One went above him, and one went underneath. We critted him here in the tail. 
put him uh, smoke something whether it's the engine or, or uh, something else and we get the assist there which is fine several opponents in the area here I see uh, if the maneuverability of this plane wants to do some good three planes out here Buffalo goes up let's see if we can get him no, 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 that's not enough lead and we're going up, we might get a good shot here And I'm out of ammo, completely out of ammo. Giving E1 and I have the chance to get him. Which is good. With several opponents coming in. I choose to go for the E43 here. Crazy. Crazy Yori. Hmm. Funny name. Got an assist there. Got an I-16 incoming here. We did get an assist there, but I don't know if one of our 40 millimeters connected there. I think it did, but it didn't explode him this time. Got a sparkle. Now we don't want to turn in for him there. We're going up for this Heinko. Yeah, we do get a crit there. Here we have the A6M hydroplane. We shoot him out of the sky. The Heiko 112 is diving away. He's smoking a little bit, but not killed. Far from. SU2 behind this JU87 here. Trying to lead the target. Now we have cannon rounds again see how quick they shoot they were at 14 in no time here we shoot the SU-2 uh, no problem we have six shots left but if you keep the trigger down for any amount of time with these guns you will go through your ammo in no time we miss our shots you see they also still fly pretty much everywhere the accuracy on these guns is not too good this key 45 is being annoying it can be so uh, maneuverable, these uh, key uh, 45s, when they are fast. And in the vertical they have a very strong elevator. Let's see, we see this JU-87, it's a B2. And we want a part of him. We put our flaps on, but it was not necessary, he was already killed by somebody. Quickly checking our rear because I, I heard a shot fall on me. Don't know what it was, didn't see any enemy. Hoping to have the dropping uh, shells fall on that guy. There's an A6M coming in here. I'm looping it over into the vertical and go after these three guys. Here's another one, a Key 61. Yeah, and there he goes. Shot his wing off. One of my 40 millimeters connected. Still have four shots left here. And we are reloading our ammo again. Now he had so much fun in this match with this dirt plane. Because that's really what it is. It is a dirt plane. Just exploding enemies with a few friends is super fun. 11 seconds left on the, on the cannon rounds. He's going into the ground. Yeah. Musman got the kill there. Got a key 45, another one here. And he's moving into the vertical, giving me a nice approach on him. <laughs> and there he goes. 240mm connected, he just exploded in a flame, in a fiery flame ball. We've got a key 44 coming in here. The guy we uh, shot at before. We decide to go up for this PBJ who's coming straight down. We do get a crit there, put him on fire. The enemy team is running out of planes very quickly. Shooting him a little bit more because of course, yeah, <laughs> Musman steals my kill there. 
Yeah, we were we were laughing at that. That's all right. E44. Got me in. Can we get him? We're just spamming the the shots now. But we didn't get in with it. Doing a high yo-yo here. If we can get behind him, no. Yeah, the whole team was diving on him. <laughs> All our guys are still in the match. And here we have him spawning again. I can only respect that. That's off to uh, crazy or uh, crazy Koyora here. He really uh, did his best, but uh, yeah, he gets uh, pulverated by my 40 millimeters there. But brave of him to come back and uh, see if he could take anybody else with him. That's a fighting spirit. And he comes back again. This time he's coming straight for me. But he rolls out of the way of my of my shots. And we get them again uh, the moment my cannon shells come up. Bringing my kill count to 10. And just general amount of fun this this plane. I hadn't recorded uh, the uh, quad yet because I knew we were going to use this for premium review, but it was fun. Ten kills, guys, four assists, and one zone captured, giving us a lot of points and second in the team. Seventy-one thousand silver lions. Hey guys, so here we are after the match. Now after those two matches we can safely conclude that this plane is quite strong at its battle rating. It has a fantastic climb rate, it has superb acceleration in a dive and top dive speed is fantastic as well. It has decent turn time, it has good roll rate, it is very maneuverable, it is nice with the rudder and the, the elevator and um, the elevator could be better. I'd say, but it's it's still nice enough. You can you can make some nice loops, and the firepower on the plane is very funny. I mean, the 12 millimeters are great, but the 40 millimeters are just fun all round. It's just a dirt plane, two 40 millimeter guns. Um, if you ask me whether this plane will be overpowered and everybody will be flying it, I'd have to say no, because in the end of the day. It will only be uh, people with very good aim that can land shots with this thing reliably. And many people will not like it for that quality. You really need to get the shooting down. These, the, the, the shells really just fall from your cannons and immediately start to decline. You really have to be up close and personal or you have to be very, um, very good with the aiming and uh, taking into account that they drop so much. It can be done, but it is difficult and you need some luck as well, so... I don't think it's overpowered, I think it's, it's fine, but... Um, yeah, you can have a lot of fun in this plane, that's for sure. And it's definitely worth buying it, it's not that expensive. And uh, you're getting a lot of fun for the amount of Golden Eagles. Hey, so I hope you enjoyed the video, that you learned something there. If you are already a subscriber, don't forget to like the video, you know, those likes really make a difference. Do leave me a comment, you know, I always look forward to the comments every day. And if you really feel like helping out today, make sure to share the video with your friends and let them know about the channel. If you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button, become part of this community. I really love to have you aboard and uh, don't feel shy. To leave me some comments I always try to respond to them so again I want to thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video bye bye